Hello, welcome to our second walkthrough through a unit model, now focusing on textures. Let's first choose here a protein in the PDB ID field. One CRN is a good structure to fetch PDB. And then immediately switch to the HP Smooth mode and activate first the colors panel here, colors. And now you say, see this here is grayed out. If you click on the atom texture panel, then you have some additional options. Now if you choose CPK, you will get a standard CPK color mode where a different texture is used for each atom type and they are nicely interpolated between each other as you can see here. Another color set that's proposed is actually negativity. Click here that's more colorful and the redder it is the more electrons an atom draws to it. You can actually work on these texture sets yourselves if you use the atom texture here, uh, for instance, let's say in this set there's something that you want to particularly highlight, then you can actually use atom selection here and select some specific spot that you're interested in. Click here on select it and then choose the texture that you want to attribute. Maybe this kind of golden one here. I'm not sure it will stand out. Let's see. Okay, it's there. You can see the golden texture that I just chose for these selected atoms. Okay, now let's use everybody again here. And then let's take a neutral background texture. Maybe something like this a metallic uh, black-grayish one. And then let's highlight some residues. We can actually choose some residues. For instance, if I choose residue all and the cysteines, just several in the system, then I choose, for instance, this yellow here, you will highlight all the cysteines uh, in the system with a specific texture. Other residues that you might be interested in, for instance, are the basic ones, that are the arginine, for instance. Okay, I click on arginine, and then I can open my own texture. Uh, let's choose one here, a prepared one, a blue texture. Okay, the arginine is in blue, and let's also put the lysines in blue in the structure. There's the lysine here. Open. Blue. Okay, a few lysine was added. And we can also color the acidic residues, like the aspartate. Let's give them a more flashy color, something maybe like an orange. Okay, and also the glutamates, which are here. And also attribute them some orange. And now you have colored the different residues uh, on residue types, which you could highlight in the structures very nicely. Another option you have, that was not previously mentioned, is to switch to, well, as far as switch to our white colors, to see alpha trace, and then diminish the shrink factor a bit so you can get some smooth traces and uh, also in the advanced menu confirm maybe a white color it would be nicer apply close this one and then increase the smoothness that should apply the white colors to the background and you can increase the radius of the background now you have so to speak a protein sausage and here again you can apply some textures for instance some of these metallic ones. Uh, okay, choose all here. Okay, and we need to deactivate the atom texture. And now it should work again. Okay. You can see here you have a nice metallic texture, or maybe a more pronounced one here. Uh, it allows you to change some aspect of the background. Another one that renders nicely usually is this one that gives some surface aspect uh, to the surface of the tube that you can still increase and you can get some really artistic features out of the system. And that actually concludes our small roundup on the possibilities of advanced texturing in Unity.